The problem with YouTube, and I'm not talking about YouTube or Google as a company. I'm talking about the whole concept, the whole run for the roses, so to speak. Too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Any small channel, less than 10,000 subscribers. Look at the comments. 80%, and that's a low end figure. 80% of the people in the comments have their own channel. Some of them do it casually. Some of them do it occasionally. Some of them are committed to it as a second job. Some of them want it to be their job. And the point is, regardless of whatever reason why you do it, everybody wants to grow. Everybody wants to build their channel. Even if you're casual, yeah, I'm in line for that. Yeah, okay, sure. But there's an old analogy that a buddy of mine, Craig, once told me. Because I remember when I got out of college, I worked for my father in a family business. And I was Gabe's son. I didn't have my own identity. I had people walking up to me and saying, wow, did you see the Jets last week? And meanwhile, it was May. And everybody was my friend which meant nobody was my friend. You guys know what I'm saying? And I left after three years to seek my own identity, and I started working on Wall Street. And when I got onto Wall Street, I met a lot of friends. I mean, I had a large circle of friends on Wall Street, of which I only keep in touch with one of them now. But the fact is, is that a friend of mine, Craig, had said to me, and I, and I, I will always remember this, he said, he said, Luxley, if you're going to throw a party, everybody's going to show up. Free food, free beer, check out the chicks, listen to cool music, you know, do some dancing, get crazy, whatever. Everybody's showing up. Even if, they, even if the party sucks, they'll give it a shot and see what it's about if they got nothing else to do. But if you decide, hey, guys, uh, we're going to throw a party. It's going to be a paint party. So bring your overalls and maybe I'll buy you some pizza and we're going to paint my house. How many people are showing up? That number drops significantly. And it's the same thing on YouTube. Everybody with a dream thinks they can make it. And once they start to realize that they have to commit themselves and make sacrifices and work hard, then you start seeing the videos. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a week. Sorry I haven't uploaded in two days. Sorry I haven't uploaded in two weeks, two months, three months, four months. Hey, how you doing? It's been six months. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, that's not commitment. Maybe in your mind you think it is, but it's not. Commitment means sacrifice. Commitment means not going to that party on Friday night because you want to work on something. Commitment means priorities. And of course, real life priorities take precedence. I'm not a fool. But if you really want to make it on YouTube, it's going to take some priorities. And people say, well, my content is quality. My content is good. No, it's not. You know, I'm not here to burst people's bubble. I'm not here to be a dick or an asshole. No, it's not. Because mine isn't either. I have to step up my game if I want true greatness. I have to step up my game if I want more. And so do you. Out of the 200 people that I'm subscribed to, one guy I think has enough skill to make it. That's not to say that no one else can get there. But the way to get there is to step up your game and improve every single day. Every single day. Now this video is a quick upload because I have something on my chest. And you know what? The quality sucks. But I had a point that I really wanted to make. And that point is... YouTube has too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Too many people that think, I'm good, I could do this, blah, 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 blah. Maybe you can. Maybe you really can. But my bar for greatness, I haven't even reached it. And you should feel the same way about what you do. Because that is going to make you better. That is going to what's going to give you lasting power. That's what's going to make or break you to improve your game every single day. Baseball player Billy Williams played with the Cubs early 70s said, I'm going to work at what I do till my best becomes better 
and my better becomes the best. He's in the Hall of Fame. Okay? He played for a shit team because the Chicago, the Chicago Cubs are horrible. They're horrible. They haven't won a World Series in this fucking century. Okay? <laughs> Terrible. So, that's what you have to do. And I'm not saying this to belittle anybody. I'm not saying that certain people can't make it. But if you don't have that drive to improve with everything you do, you're not committed and you're not going to do it. You know, people will insist I have great quality. Every single person thinks they have great quality. Everybody. Do you know what my bar of quality is? Do you know where my bar is? I have a video in the link that is the perfect demonstration of what my bar for quality is. And you know what? Nobody hits it. This, I don't know who this guy is. I, I, I'm not trying to promote his channel. He just made the video to display his editing skills. He took all three seasons of Game of Thrones, took a piece of music that's popular and it's a copyright strike waiting to happen, and so is the number of scenes that he uses, but he edits it in such a way that it's fucking amazing. And if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you gotta check this out. You owe it to yourself to check it out. If you're a casual fan, you owe it to yourself to check it out. This is one of the more inspirational, beautiful works of art I've ever seen. This is my bar of greatness. And I wanted to share it with you. And that's the purpose for this video. I want to show you what I consider great. I want to show you what I consider quality. Not a bunch of people laughing on vent. Not me telling silly jokes. Not someone showing how great they are in Arena or Call of Duty. No. I'm going to show you what greatness is. And you might not see the greatness in this if you're not a fan of Game of Thrones. And that's probably very, very normal. But if you are a Game of Thrones fan, god damn it, you owe it to yourself to check this out. This is one of the most amazing pieces I've ever seen. And I was so inspired when I saw this a few months ago, I went out and I bought all three seasons of Game of Thrones because I wanted to make something of my own like this. But you know what? I worked too damn hard on my channel and I don't want to risk the copyright strike. This guy's not doing YouTube for, a ch for, for any kind of side thing. He's just doing it to show off his editing skills to people. And he probably got a copyright strike and he doesn't give a shit. I do, okay? The amount of clips that he uses, the music that he uses, it's a copyright strike waiting to happen. But it doesn't make it bad. The content, I mean. Because that's what we do. We take a game, we take somebody else's creation, and we find a way to make a story out of it. We find a way to make it amusing, to make it inspiring, to make it great, to give people tips, to give people ideas, to, to entertain, to amuse. To give them a glimpse of what's going on in a different game, somebody else's world. I mean, these are the things that we do. And he just happens to do it with Game of Thrones. And I think a lot of people are familiar with it. And I would really like you guys to check it out and see what you think. Because I think it's an amazing video. I mean, the part in the video where they got the music pumping and Daenerys' dragons are flying in the air, breathing fire. And then it pans to Daenerys and she's looking with this face of determination like, I'm going to fuck you up. It's just amazing the way he puts the clips and the music all together to tell the story. People, this is my bar for greatness. Am I there? Fuck no, I'm not there. Are you guys there? Probably not. But that doesn't mean we can't get there. That does not mean we can't get there make the commitment to get better until your best gets better and your better is your best have a good night